you join me this morning outside Cardiff Central Station. Today's video is going to see we go to Bridge End, but then at Bridge End, I'm going to turn around to visit the three stations between Bridge End and Cardiff Central. And these three stations kind of have similar histories with each other. So I'm going to head into the railway station now and head for my train to get me to Bridge End. So you're now joining me on the platform at Cardiff Central Station waiting for my train. Now the original plan was to catch the 0808 off Cardiff Central to get to Bridge End. This is a Great Western Railway series that carries on to Swansea. Unfortunately though, I did have microphone problems this morning because the microphone that I've got here could not connect to the camera that I'm blogging on. Managed to sort that out now, so I'm actually waiting for the 9 o'clock transport for Wales service to Carmarthen but getting off at Bridge End on that train. So we have now made it to Bridge End. Unfortunately though, I did have a plan to stay here for an hour, look at this railway station filled with the trains, but unfortunately that has been cut short to 20 minutes now. It's actually a bit less, to be honest, before my train arrives. But it's a shame really, because Bridge End is a very lovely station. It was actually built by Isabar Kings of Brunel, and it opened on the 19th of June, 1850, by the South Wales Railway. Bridge End is also the junction station for services to Mystag, which that line opened in the 1860s but did close the passengers in 1970 and reopened in 1992. And also another line that goes towards Cardiff Central by Barry, which opened by the Barry Railway in 1897, closed in 1964 but reopened in 2005. But we're going to be leaving Bridge End on the 0939 Transport for Wales service to Cheltenham Spa, but we're going to Pencoed the first of the three smaller stations between Bridgehead and Cardiff Central. So we have now made it to the first station out of three we shall be stopping off at today. This is Pencoid. I think I said at Bridgehead, I pronounce this as Pencoid. And that is so wrong, to be honest with you. To be honest, my Welsh does really suck. So I think the correct pronunciation is Pencoid. The one thing about this railway station is it does have staggered platforms. It only has the two platforms, but they are staggered platforms. And between the staggered platforms, it does have a level crossing. And to be honest, I do love seeing a good level crossing at a railway station. So I'm now going to talk about Pencoy Station. At this station with the other two that I'm stopping off at today between Bridge End and Cardiff Central, they roughly have very similar histories with each other. Now Pencoy Station opened on the 19th of June 1850 by the South Wales Railway. However though, the station did close on the 2nd of November 1964 and the station did reopen on the 11th of May 1992. So my tyre is now nearly up at Pencoy Station and this station is just magnificent if you just want to come here to watch the trains passing by or filming a photo with the trains as well. The only problem with this railway station is it has an hourly service and so does the other two stations that I'm stopping off at. But I'm going to head over to the other platform now to wait for the 1041 Transport for Wales service to Clan Harlan, which is the next station up the line between Bridgehead and Cardiff Central. Yeah. 
So I'll just come over to platform two for a bit because the sun is really annoying today. It's a lovely low sun, but it's annoying as well. But this station of coming at is Clan Harren. If that's so mispronounced, do blame the announcements on the Class 150 as I was trying to learn the pronunciation for this railway station while I was trying between Pencoid and this station. But this station does look so modern as well because it did open a bit later than the other two stations that I'm stopping off at today, which explains shortly the station's history but the one thing for sure, this station does not have stagger platforms. So let's talk about Clan Harren Station, because this station opened in 1850 by the South Wales Railway. It did close on the 2nd of November 1964, but it reopened on the 10th of December 2007. And when it was built, this station actually cost about 4.3 million to be built, and it was funded by Suter, which I think that's how you pronounce that, to be honest. So the two railway stations that I've already visited, Pencoid and Clanharren, I've actually been to these two railway stations before. I think it was back in 2014. I had a weekend in South Wales back in 2014. Back then, the Class 43 HSTs dominated the South Wales mainline with services from London Paddington towards Swansea or Carmarthen. But the third station that I'm stopping off at today, I have not been to. And the third station is Ponty Clun. I waited for the 1147 Transport for Wales service so I could go take a look at Ponty Clun for the first time. When I was at Pencoid Station, I did say my Welsh pronunciation was so bad, and to be honest, I did actually mispronounce this station as well. I thought it was Ponty Clun, but it's actually Ponty Clean. But this is the first station between Bridgend and Cardiff I'm looking at today, and it's also my first time being here as well. And to be honest, it's actually a lovely area. Like, it's got a lovely backdrop with the hills in the background. And it's just a lovely area to look at and to fill some trades here as well. Now it was cute seeing that Class 153 passing through Ponty Clean Station on its own with no other carriages. That was the service from Swansea to Cartis Central. But what's not so funny is the station history because the station history for Ponty Clean is so complicated. Then it opened on the 18th of June 1850 by the South Wales Railway. But when it was opened, it was actually named Clantrissiant for Cowbridge. Now the Cowbridge Railway opened their station in 1865, but was also named Clantrissiant. Now in 1866, the South Wales Railway renamed their station Clantrissiant, minus for Cowbridge. Now in 1902, both stations were renamed to Clantrissiant, but minus one S. So instead of two S's, it was actually one S. But in 1925, both stations were combined. Both stations closed on the 2nd of November 1964 and reopened on the 28th of September 1992 as Ponty Clean. That station history was so complicated, to be honest. So during my time here at Ponty Clean Station, it has really been brilliant. I actually do like this location. As I mentioned, this is the first time being here, and I've really enjoyed it, to be honest. But all three railway stations I have enjoyed today, to be honest. But it's now time to head on our final train, the 1252 Transport for Wales service to Gloucester, but we're going back to Cardiff Central.
So I'm now back at Cardiff Central Station. Apart from the microphone playing up this morning, which made me miss a train to Bridge End, and I had to catch a later train to Bridge End instead, I had less time in Bridge End as well because I wanted a really good hour at Bridge End. It has really been a good day visiting the stations between Bridge End and Cardiff on the South Wales Main Line, to be honest. And I would love to come back to South Wales again to visit more stations in the area. But for now, I'm going to drop a video from North Wales right here where I chase a class 142 pacer uh, throughout Cheshire and into North Wales. Feel free to give that a click. People on screen now, YouTube channel and patient supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Sire Trace. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next Sunday for another video down the line.